Perfect. How's everyone doing in quarantine? Can't hear you, you're muted. Oh, sorry. It's all good. <laughs> there you go. Pretty good, how are you? Oh, not bad, not bad. Just, uh, you know, bored. But <laughs> here we all are, so. But getting a few of us in here. Excellent, excellent. So, have you been taking summer classes already? Anyone? Yeah. How's that uh, online stuff going? It's fine. Okay. All right. Fair enough. You know, not really my preferred way to teach, but you know, we'll make it through, right? <laughs> the labs will be interesting, but we'll do them. We'll get them done. We'll get them done. So, all right. Um, has everybody had a chance to uh, take a look at the uh, syllabus and the schedule so far? All right. All right. Um, it is one o'clock. We'll get going here anyway. So, uh, big change recently. Um, the rocks are now in the bookstore, and they are like forty six dollars to rent. And I. I have no idea why we talked them down from like 80. I'm like, what the heck? Like, <laughs> so I really apologize about that. I had no idea that they'd be over like 15 bucks, but, uh, um, uh, so I guess we can talk about that. Is that cost prohibitive to anybody? You know, I know we have the book for 65 and the rocks, which puts this class over a hundred bucks in materials. Um, so I know that sucks. Um, but hopefully you're able to use, you know, financial aid and stuff towards that if you can. So any uh, questions or concerns on that? No. Okay. Fair enough. All right. So I guess, uh, what I wanted to do today is just start off with a brief little intro. I know you went through the orientation and stuff already, but let's just, uh, do this here. Let me do my screen sharing thing. All right. Um, sure. Can everybody see my screen now? Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. So, hello. There we go. Well, um, oops. Here I am. Right. That's me, the fearlessest of leaders, John Van Regen Mortar. Right. You can just call me John. It's a lot shorter. Um, Got my uh, bachelor's at a little place called Grand Valley State University. Maybe you've heard of it, you know, just down the road there. Uh, also did a little series of master's degrees at Western Michigan and CU Boulder in geology and uh, biological anthropology and GIS, which is the stuff that runs Google Earth and Google Maps, that kind of stuff. Right. Um, here's what I really do. It's called high resolution spatiotemporal correlations. You really need to know none of that. But uh, what I do is basically... Uh, I work with fossil localities, but I work more with the geology of the fossils or with the geology than the fossils themselves. So all these little pinpoints here, like Curly's Buff, Big Grain, Lake for Lunch, these are all individual places where we find fossils. And all these pretty little lines here, these are me walking up and down and back and forth and marking certain layers that we can use to correlate and then line up all of these fossil localities in time so we can see how things change through time, right? And what I end up creating is a nice composite section, a stratigraphic column, right? Um, and um, uh, sedimentology and stratigraphy is really what I do. And here I am measuring rocks out in the field, right? But I do love anything fossil. I've done a lot of fossil hunting as well. I like mammals in particular, but anything with sabers is awesome as well. Right? I've also done a lot of uh, fish poop research, actually, <laughs> in the gypsum mines underneath Grand Rapids. Uh, there's lots of fossils down there, mostly fish poop. Uh, and, but we do have some cool things like this Paleozoic, uh, fish jaw that we found down there. The only one that's known from Michigan, uh, was down there in the gypsum mines. Other things I like, archeology, span human and primate evolution, GIS, obviously, figuring out ways to share large packages of data across, you know, the world basically through the internet. How do you package that up? I love minerals. Those are really fun. That's my favorite mineral wolfenite right there. And then I love studying mass extinctions and the effect that they have uh, on evolution, right? So, right, we're online, right? 
It doesn't mean that we're stuck out there on our own though, however, right? We have, uh, I've set this class up so we can, you know, hopefully get a little bit of interaction and stuff going with each other. And if you've been taking summer classes, I'm sure you're familiar with this uh, kind of setup here. Uh, weekly discussion boards, uh, these will be graded, right? Uh, I do ask that you participate three days per week, uh, not like three posts in one day, but three days per week so you keep engaged and uh, you know up to date on the, the content, right? And that way, you know, when you get there at the end of the week and there's like 75 messages, you don't just freak out, you know? So uh, make sure you stay engaged three days a week in the material, right? Uh, in the discussion board. And I'm looking for quality posts, not just like, what is a rock, right? You know, um, I'm looking for, uh, you know, good discussion back and forth, right? Um, we'll look at one of these discussion boards in a little bit, but uh, do you have to reply to every single thread? No, right? Uh, reply to the ones that are most interesting to you. Uh, if like you're reading a chapter and you know, I, the, I try to post some open-ended questions to start discussion, but if there's something you really want to discuss from that chapter, post your own thread, right? I mean, let's make this fun. Let's make it interesting, right? Uh, so, um, so no, you don't have to just, don't have to participate in every single thread, right? But I do, you know, request that you engage at least three days per week in the material, right? Um, I did have Flipgrid set up as part of the lab, but I'm running a class out of GA, Grand Valley as well. And I decided last week that Flipgrid is a bunch of junk. So I got rid of that. We will not be using Flipgrid. But instead, I put a uh, uh, discussion forum up for questions on the labs. And you can always hit me up for my video office hours as well, which will be Tuesday or Wednesdays and Thursdays. Right. Um, so this is my first official time teaching an online class, right? Uh, but you guys, you know, you're old pros at this now, right? So let me know as we go through this class, what is working for you, especially what is not working for you, right? Uh, and any ideas you have to include, uh, improve the class, media technology, you know, that kind of stuff. Just let me know, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm open to, you know, making this class better and more of a, you know, uh, a good experience for everybody. And the only way we can do that is if I get some feedback, right? Uh, and then let me know if, you know, you've seen things that are used in other classes effectively by professors, whatever, right? Um, so I'm just looking to make this kind of, you know, the best experience since we don't get to get, you know, be together to make the best experience for, for all of us here. Right. Um, now, of course, we don't have any specific, uh, you know, time that you have to be here, right? Um, there are a couple of times to be aware of, though. Due dates, weekly due dates for all the assignments for the week are 11.59 p.m. on Sunday evenings. It's going to be standardized at that, okay, right? So, uh, like this week, you know, all everything for chapter one and chapter two, all your discussions and stuff, you have to have those completed by 11.59 p.m. this Sunday, right? And then the virtual office hours, Wednesdays and Thursdays, 1 to 2 p.m. or by appointment. I think then the schedule, do I say 2 to 3 p.m.? I think I'm changing that to 1 to 2 p.m. unless anybody has issues, right? But uh, you can always uh, contact me, right? My phone number or you know, my email address on there, you, know, you can hit me up. I'm my check email regularly. Uh, if you have an immediate need, you can hit me with my uh, phone number, but that is my personal phone number, so don't abuse it, please. Uh, available, you know, noon to five weekdays on that line, right? Um, and then just to uh, take a look quick at the required materials. So the digital textbook, right, or the digital print combo. Digital print combo is available through the bookstore. The digital textbook, the best, the cheapest way to do this is to go right through the orientation folder. There's a link and a click right there to to uh, to register you right for that uh, for that book, right? And it is the fifth edition. Somebody pointed out that I screwed up and wrote the fourth edition in the and the syllabus. I'll change that. It is the fifth edition, right? Um, you will need access to a laptop or de desktop with download capabilities for a couple of the programs we'll be using. For one, this week we're going to start using Google Earth Pro. Uh, and you do need the desktop version to download the pro version in order to use the tools that we'll be looking at in there, right? It is free, it doesn't cost anything, but you can't use it on a, a phone or, or smart device, right? Um, and then of course, now you must order the rocks and minerals from the bookstore. I apologize about that, but please order those soon because we'll be starting to use those, I believe next week. Um, just to break down this for you again, there's 11 lab activities throughout the class. Uh, we're 20 points each. Uh, I will, uh, you can drop the lowest one or, uh, you know, I will automatically do that. So you don't need to let me know 
which grade you want me to drop, I will just automatically drop your lowest lab grade. I'll automatically drop your lowest smart books chapter grade, right? So if you're having a rough week, you know, and you can't quite get to these things, you got to uh, give me at least on, on a couple of these, right? But if you do them all, I just take your, you know, your, your lowest grade out of both these and drop it and, and calculate from there. Partition and patient and homework, uh, which includes the discussion, participation, uh, the little five point chapter quizzes that are in the end of each chapter, right? Um, and then we have midterm exams, two at 130 points each, and then a final exam worth 150 points, so not that much more than, than the normal midterms, right? So I think, you know, goals for this class, right, are to, you know, expand your knowledge, your interest in our planet, the processes that, that shape our world, the things that are going on, the effects that we're having, right? Another big one, we're going to get this into this right in chapter one, uh, develop an understanding of the scientific process. What is science, right? What is not science, right? And how do we apply it to life? And, you know, I mean, looking at this whole COVID-19 thing and this development, I mean, it's, it's kind of a, you know, an interesting uh, social experiment with science, you know, with how many people who's wearing masks, who's not wearing masks, right? Who believes that, you know, this is, you know, COVID is, isn't even real and stuff like that, right? And, uh, but, you know, on the other side, we have, you know, the, the models that are being developed kind of as we fly, right? The scientific models that are being developed, and we see those mo moving and changing. So it's interesting. I mean, we're kind of a real live uh, experiment in how we view science right now, right? And then I think this is on uh, every syllabus everywhere, develop critical thinking and analytical skills, right? So I guess we'll do that, right? Um, teach upcoming geology majors. Do we have anyone interested in geology as a major? Not seeing anyone right now, but anyway, maybe I'll convince you. You need to be a geology major by the end of this, right? So that's my other goals: recruit new geology majors. I'm pretty uh, unashamed about this. So if you feel like I'm trying to convince you to become a geologist, I probably am. Right? Um, I think that's kind of all I want to do. I just want to uh, watch this little smart books video with you real quick, in case I know some of you have already done the introductory stuff, but this will just kind of run through and let you know. Hold on here. You probably cannot see this now. Hold on a second. Let me pause it. Okay. Stop share. Share screen. Oh, there we go. All right. Now you can see the YouTube video. There is no contest. I have no idea what they're talking about. Thank you. 
This information helps you adapt the technology to smart book to create a personalized learning capsule that's for you. Once you have answered enough questions in the practice phase, the read button will start to flow, directing you back to the reading that you want to read. Continue moving back and forth between the reading practice that you worked through and ultimately complete the chapter. It is important to remember that to get full credit for any chapter reading assignment, you need to complete all learning items in the practice phase before the assignment is made. Now, let's take a look at some of the other functionality we have available. Moving to the upper left hand, you'll see these three horizontal lines. If you click on this icon, it's going to open up the left panel of your smart book, revealing some navigation options available. The table of contents reveals two tabs. The assignment tab lists only the required chapters that have been assigned by your instructor in your course. You can also track your chapter assignment progress here. The self-study tab lists all chapters of your smart book, including those chapters that are not assigned in your course, but are made available to you as optional reading. The reports button is where you will find helpful reports that will not only help you track your reading comprehension and assignment completion progress throughout your course, but will also help you study more efficiently. We'll cover this in a separate video as well. And finally, the last phase of SmartBook is Recharge. From your assignments tab, clicking on a completed chapter you have already read will launch Recharge. Recharge looks like practice, but here you will be periodically asked to recharge or review key topics from previous chapters that you have already completed to help push that content into long-term memory. Recharging is a powerful tool to help you get better grades on quizzes and exams in your course. That completes the Smart Book Overview video. Be sure to watch the other videos in the series. Thanks for watching. Okay. That was exciting there, right? All right. So um, I was going to then uh, move on and just kind of go through our, our Blackboard page real quick. Does anybody have any questions uh, right now at this point? Nope. Doing good. All right. Let me then open my Blackboard page. Alrighty, and back to Zoom. There, I'll just share screen. Okay, there we go. Come on. All right, there we go. All right, you can see the Blackboard page now, right? Yeah, perfect. Okay, so here we go. I mean, uh, this is where we do the announcements and everything like that. Oh, by the way, I just got an email. Uh, and there's this new video out. Uh, there is physical science tutoring available this summer if you need. So I haven't watched the video yet, but I just linked it right before this uh, this meeting here. So, um, but uh, you know, from here you can you know get to kind of wherever you want. Here's our week one. You know, that'll just link you right to the week one materials, right? But if we go to announcements, you can do that as well, right? Or assignments, you can do that as well, right? And then there's the orientation folder, right? Let's just take a look here. Orientation video, review the syllabus, introduce yourself. And then here's where you can uh, just click on this. It'll take you right to the registration page for uh, Connect Smart Books, right? So that'll get you right to the book. It's the cheapest there. I think it's 65 bucks. Everywhere else it's more expensive, right? And that's that online adaptive Smart Book stuff, right? Um, we also have, uh, uh, you can access the labs directly, but uh, you can do those through the assignments as well here. So let's take a look at our week one, what we're doing, right? We've got chapter one and chapter two, and they're kind of set up, you know, most of the chapters will be set up in this, this sort of fashion, right? Uh, actually, let me uh, switch over to student preview mode here, so uh, you, I see what you see, right? Uh, go back to our assignments, week one. All right, it's a little introduction to week one, but in each weekly chapter, we'll have uh, the connect smart book assignment to do uh, the chapter videos are all linked uh, linked there as well uh, And then here is uh, you know the lab one We'll take a look at that in a minute And then this will take you away to the discussion board for the week and then there's just a little you know five-point uh, Chapter quiz at the end kind of low stakes kind of stuff, right? Um, but uh, Let's see here then these mark reviewed buttons uh, these are more for you than for me. These are just to kind of, you know, as you go through the week and progress, you just click reviewed and it'll change it to reviewed, right? I mean, it's not worth any points. Uh, 
But, you know, if I were to check, I guess I can check to see, you know, if you're at least clicking this button, you know, which all that really tells me is you click the button. So, you know, use this so you kind of know where you are in the, in the process, right? And then let's take a look at our labs here. All right. So lab one, I did a little bit differently and I think I'm switching the format up more to like lab two here. But here are the, uh, the online labs, I put them in doc and PDF format, right? Uh, and then here I, I set up, it's basically a test it says, but uh, a place to enter those answers for each of those questions for the lab, right? Um, and uh, so you click on that and it'll bring you right to, you know, the, the answers questions, right? Um, well, let me go back here. So then you'll complete lab one, you'll discuss it, right? And then, uh, let me go back one more here. Oh, shit, sorry, I have more time. All right, fine, I'll go this way. We'll take a look at chapter two here. Two setup. Pretty much the same as chapter one. You know, here's the, the reading and the smart books question. Here's the videos for chapter two. Right, and then the lab discuss, and then the little chapter two quiz. Let's take a look at this lab here, right? This one's a little different. I think this is how we'll probably do it from now on. Let me know if you have a preference, but I think this will be easier for all of us, right? Uh, so I have the lab two doc and the lab two PDF, but this time it's set up as an assignment. So if you simply click on this, right, you will be able to upload documents, right? So you can you know, type in the document and upload that. You can print it out and write on it and take pictures or scan it and upload those. However, you can get it to it just so I can see your answers to, to those questions, right? Um, that kind of thing, right? Uh, you can also, you know, write submissions in here, but you can upload multiple documents, so it's not a problem, right? And I usually have these open for, you know, mul uh, unlimited attempts, so in case you forget to unload, so upload something, you can go back and upload it, right? But for this part, you'll be uploading uh, your favorite place, uh, uh, your distance uh, picture, answers to part two, the topographic map you create and answers to part three, right? And then you can all, you know, you can type those answers in uh, and then upload these documents or uh, however you want to do that, scan them, take pictures, whatever, just to, you know, uh, just get them uh, uploaded to this file, right? Um, other resources we have here, again, you can access kind of all of these things, the discussion board, the labs, the lecture slides, and the videos all from the side here as well, right? So if we go into our week one discussion, we see we've already got some discussions going on, right? So here's like lab one and two questions, right? Chapter one discussions is kind of an open-ended question, right? Chapter one and two questions are just about the material. Chapter two discussion, another open-ended kind of discussion, right? So participation in these and asking good questions and responding to other folks and stuff like that, that is where you're gonna gather those points each week. Remember to be engaged three days per week uh, with the material, right? Um, and then over here, you know, you can access the syllabus, right? You can access me, right? There's stuff, right? And two to 3 p.m. Yeah, I switched that to one to 2 p.m. I'll switch to set, fix that. And then here under help, we have some smart books and connect help. We have Blackboard GRCC help, right? Um, and then here's where you access your grades. I think that's probably about all I need to show you here. All right. Anyone uh, have questions now at this point about any of the workings of the class or, or any of that stuff? I was looking at the discussion questions because I started doing chapter one today. Right. Um, where it says like the Q and A, is that like questions we have about the lab or are we posing questions? So both. So, um, oh, so, oh, well, um, so in the discussion, that's questions you have about the lab, right? Mm -hmm. uh, or answers you have to other people's questions about the lab, right? Okay. Um, but that's not where you put your answers to the lab. Right. Does okay. that make sense? Okay. Yeah. So like if we don't have any questions, like if we're not like confused or anything, we don't have to reply to that discussion board? No, no, no. Like I said, so there's a bunch of discussions. You, you have to, you know, uh, be engaged three days a week, but not in every single discussion thread. No. Um, so maybe you don't have any lab questions or you don't have any other questions or you have lab questions. You don't really care about the question I asked in the open ended question for number two or whatever, you know, um, that's fine. You just, I mean, you can be engaged, you know, in the same discussion 
three days per week too as leave her responding and you know that kind of stuff so it's really just you know to to set up a good conversation basically between you know everybody here so um and that, again like i said if there's something like you're reading chapter two and there's something really pressing you want to discuss or something that really intrigued you make a new thread post that right i mean that's that, that's fair as, as well so Any other questions on the material at all here, or course, or, or anything? I have one. Just um, so, like, as of right now, we're just kind of going through um, kind of all the assignments that we have, and just kind of like marking them off as we go down the line, based off like what there is for week one. Right. Basically. Okay. Make yeah. Sense. Yeah. So that's that's just that that mark reviewed or whatever button you're talking about. Yeah. That's just, that's really just for you. So you know, if you stop today and come back tomorrow, and you're like, where the heck did I leave off? You know. You're But everything we have to do for the week is in there. And yes, it's in the assignment. Yep, yep. So link to the discussion, link to the the videos, the the book, the um, uh, the quiz. You know, the labs. Those are all linked right in the um, uh, in that in the assignments. Yeah. So if you do everything in the assignments folder, you've done everything for the week, right? But you know, I just put those out there as well in case you wanted to, you know, go directly to the lab and not click through everything or something. So there's, there's several ways to access the material, but yes, if you go through the assignments for that week, you've done everything. So that's all you need to do is go, go to the assignments folder. Yeah. Any other questions here? Alrighty, well, if not, uh, I will let you all go. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions and stuff. I'll switch those office hours um to 1 to 2 p.m on 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 wednesdays and thursdays so i'll be around tomorrow and thursday to answer questions if you have them and always via email you know and if you have other you know i mean we can, i can always set up another time to do a zoom meeting or something with you if you got questions so all right all folks thank you have a great day i'm going to kick you all out of here have a good one